now how to cut down a tree safely part one. Okay, hi, in this video, yes, I will be giving you a step-by-step -step how I've brought down a fairly big tree uh, between uh, a tight neighborhood between two homes and uh, give it a, kind of show you how I re basically removed the limbs. Um, there's some fun stuff in the middle. So what you're going to need is a reciprocating saw with the pruning blade, an extension ladder, a bungee cords or ratchet straps to attach it to a hardwood brace that we're going to show you here right away, and a uh, strong back and no fear of heights. So what this hardwood brace is, is a piece of hardwood, which I used oak. I have a lot of oak laying around. So you want a good solid wood, and then I used a kind of an L piece from a shelving unit that I had that I had laying around, just a strong piece of steel to add some strength to it so that it's more than just the board. And then the bungee cords are going to be used to strap that to my extension ladder. And you can see here what it looks like um, on, the, on the tree. And this is the scene. So this is, you can see why it's uh, I'm not comfortable just taking a chainsaw and cutting this tree down in one shot because you got houses and stuff all over. We got trees that we don't want to damage. Uh, we'll probably go right into the street and hit vehicles. So the safer way to do this is to take the branches off first. And that's what this part one is about in the this video. This is going to be the part one. So I've already removed uh, a bunch of the, the limbs from standing and stepladder stage. Now we move into the extension ladder stage. And I have a 32 foot extension ladder. So this is a pretty big unit. Uh, you can see here, it's, uh, you know, it's probably not at the perfect angle, but it's probably too steep for safety reasons. But I've worked on many ladders and I'm comfortable doing this. So for myself, I'm okay with it. You can see when I take some of the larger limbs, when you're working on a ladder, remember to never overreach and always stay close. And you can see how I take it in two steps. So if it's a really long one, I just use my saw to cut partially through, um, and then I take the last part of it off there. So there again, so, you know, if it feels comfortable enough to be able to cut the whole branch, go for it. But if it doesn't feel quite right, just take part of it, let the branches hold itself together, and then it will fall towards the middle, which is much safer. So I'm just gonna let it go for carry on here for a while. I'm gonna stop talking and then I'll come in when needed, as I do with my other videos. Uh, actually, before I go, this part here is a little bit challenging to do by yourself. If you have a friend to help you get the ladder, it's quite a heavy ladder, so this was quite awkward for me. So that might be something you look at too. And I'll go over some more of the do's and don'ts in a moment. Okay, so now I'm just going to walk up the ladder here and show you what the uh, brace looks like when it's attached uh, to the ladder. And you'll see I have it with bungee cords, but you could also use uh, probably a uh, ratchet strap of some kind as well. I just didn't have any hand in my hand. So, you see how it's attached. Uh, if you have a better way that doesn't involve screwing into the ladder, I would not advise ever 
drilling into a ladder to attach things, but if you've got a better way, uh, please voice it so we all know. Now we're moving on to the, the next level, so um, this I'm going to call level 2, I've raised the ladder once, the extension ladder, and I will carry on cutting away and I'll be back in a second. There you can see the full length of where I'm at at this point. Probably a little over half the distance of the tree. Ha! Okay, uh, I didn't realize there was a little dragonfly flown through the, the frame here. Kind of the slow-mo thing for you here. And I thought that was kind of fun, so let me know if you think it was. So for do's and don'ts, uh, I, I would recommend you have a friend help you with the ladder. It's very heavy. Uh, you have to be comfortable with ladders and power tools, and you're going to get a sore, have sore muscles. Do not attempt this if you're not comfortable in any way with this. Uh, 
don't ever overreach and never use a chainsaw and don't do this in a, on any kind of windy or rainy days. This is really challenging at this point to get the ladder uh, up to that next level by myself. And so one more person would definitely have helped. Two more, even better. You can see how tired I was that day. So now another scan here of the scene. This is where I raised the ladder to the fourth level. And you can see here how much higher it is. I think that some of that I was removed that I didn't film. And the last part here, um, I'm getting pretty high up here as you can see. Uh, the wind has picked up a little bit. The ladder is shakier because I've uh, extended it further. At this point, um, I wouldn't recommend going any higher. And I'm just gonna attach the, you can see me now attaching how I did the bungee cords. That was the max height that I went to. Okay, thanks again for watching. This is uh, part one of how to cut a tree down safely. And then part two will be coming and uh, my next video is coming up. Don't forget to subscribe if you like these as well.